200 years ago, it took weeks to send a message to another person across the globe. Now, it can be done in less than a second. Considering how almost everyone nowadays uses the internet to communicate with each other, today's internet can be rightfully called the internet of people. People have senses. They can see, feel, hear and share the amalgamation of these senses on the internet. People communicate and that's the whole point. Things also have senses. Your refrigerator can know the temperature and humidity of the surroundings and can adjust the internal temperature accordingly. Your phone knows its location on earth and how it is oriented in three-dimensional space. But there is something missing. Communication. The Internet of Things is an expansion of the internet where even things can communicate. The term Internet of Things was first used by the British tech pioneer Kevin Ashton in 1999 while he was referring to a system in which physical, real-world objects could be connected to the internet using sensors. Here's an example. Your smartwatch predicts when it is the best time for you to wake up and the alarm rings. The watch then sends this information to the coffee machine which brews coffee while you get out of bed. The curtains open automatically letting some sunlight in. Your laptop turns itself on and opens your favorite website which you browse while sipping on the hot cup of coffee. Things communicating with each other can lead to an easy daily life for people. You no longer have to tell things what to do, things gather information and know what to do without your instructions. The Internet of Things can also be of great help in emergency situations. Suppose your car crashes, the car automatically sends this data to the nearest hospital. It also sends this information to a doctor who may be driving near the site of the accident to give you first aid until the ambulance arrives. Another application is that the kitchen knows what you have in the inventory. If your stock of butter is less, it can automatically order butter for you. Your calendar tells the fridge that there are some guests coming over the next day for dinner. So the fridge orders some more stuff just in case the guests need it. But just like every other technology, the internet of things also has one major drawback. Security. Poorly secured devices are vulnerable to cyber attacks and thieves can know whether or not you are in the house. But we are working on it. The things can also identify faces and let the nearest police station know when an unknown suspicious person is in the house. The house can also lock the person inside so he cannot escape. No worries. The Internet of Things is an expansion of the concept of the internet. It is several years old and will soon become a part of our daily lives. If you learned something new, well then give this video a like, comment down below what you'd like to see next and subscribe for some more awesome science.